I don't know if you feel like I do, but there's just too many inconsistencies in it all. Hello Warriors, welcome to the channel. This is Fernando. I am God's Prepared Warrior. Uh, and if you didn't know that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Well, it's been uh, a couple of days, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been a couple of days and we are all still coming off of the weekend from the uh, attempted assassination of Donald Trump. And uh, as as I said, the there was going to be more footage. There was going to be more things that were going to come out of this, and we were going to begin uh, to see the whole truth uh, as it unfolds. And we are actually seeing uh, that thing uh, unfold in a in a mighty way. I'm not sure how um, up to date you are. Uh, but uh, as of recently, I just just watched a video over here on my computer, um, and the video was another uh, footage. It was a separate footage. I'm guessing on the backside. I'm gonna post it in this video here. Hit it like you mean it. It's uh, um, another scene and they, the law enforcement personnel could not get into the area because of the gates that were all locked up. And uh, they actually had to go through two gates to get to the building where the gunman was. And so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, this is all a guess, um, but I'm guessing they didn't have to um, secure the other building because the area was secured through a double fence. So I'm guessing if, if there was any kind of call to say, 
um, you know, we don't have to, we don't have to, uh, guard that building. It was because of that. So, um, that's just speculation. It's not, it's not nothing that I found for fact or anything. I'm just speculating. But, um, the more and the more I see this, the more I see that it was probably a rigged thing. There's just too many inconsistencies, um, when you think about it. Um, the snipers didn't shoot. It took them a while to shoot. Um, the people in the stands were waving down um, security personnel to let them know what they were seeing on top of the building. Um, so yeah, there's just too many inconsistencies and um i'm beginning i'm beginning to see that maybe this whole thing um was kind of a, a setup so you know um i'm not gonna dig too much further into into this anymore um <laughs> if anything uh this kind of actually propelled donald trump um to winning uh the election already so <laughs> Um, there's been just so many memes of all of the United States becoming, all the states becoming red states. And I just thought that was funny. Um, but anyway, um, you know, we just got to stay vigilant to the things that are happening. And, um, I think, I think this is a great time for us to truly, um, to ask ourselves, you know, am I being vigilant around where I am? Um, I'm still still praying for the families uh, of those uh, people that were injured and for, uh, for the family that uh, lost their dad and uh, I'm, I'm just continuing to pray for them um, but I am you know even more aware more vigilant uh, whenever we go out and I'm just you know in that prayerful uh, prayerful, prayerful stance, right? That I talked about in my video, previous video. Um, so, you know, I just want to encourage you guys, uh, whenever you go out, wherever you go with your family, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you know, just be vigilant to what is happening around you. Know who is there. Um, you don't have to know their name. Just know it's that individual with that color pair of pants that color shirt he's this tall that's what i'm talking about being vigilant um because you never know you never know uh when uh things are just gonna pop off and you're gonna need to randomly collect the data um uh, so that way uh if you become an eyewitness or you i you witness something you are able to share that information with law enforcement so <clears throat> Not that they'll listen, but uh, <laughs> from this previous incident, but, you know, uh, it's always good to be a collector of that information um, because not everybody is in that way. So just be safe out there. I just wanted to throw this quick video out uh, to encourage all of you and uh, to just trust in the Lord and allow the Lord to uh, guide your steps. Uh, Proverbs chapter 8, uh, I'm sorry, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all of, your, all of your heart, lean not on your own understanding, but in all of your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your steps. So trust in the Lord, trust your family to the Lord, um, and, and you just follow the path that God has you on, and you do your things. You be vigilant, you be prepared, and faith is always going to be your shield guys have a great day and look forward to seeing you again in another video god bless god's prepared warrior out hey guys this is fernando god's prepared warrior thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel